would it be harder to write a novel about young, uh, young kids who are actually form a resistance movement to fight against what appears to be an Asian invading force? Yeah, I wouldn't write that book now, not because of societal views in a way, but because of my own uh, horror at the way refugees who've come to Australia have been treated. And when I hear a political debate raging every day, and this is now relegated to just a footnote in the pages of Hansard, rather than the overwhelmingly important topic that it should be, when I see people who arrive here legitimately seeking refuge and, and, and shelter, and they are treated as the scum of the earth, and they are sentenced to awful detention and sometimes death by both major political parties without any apparent scruples or conscience exhibited by those parties, then that would put me in a very different position when it came to writing a book about um, threats to Australia, because demonising people like that is unforgivable and it's disgusting and it's a, an ongoing obscenity in our lives. I grew up reading John's books. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, and now my son reads them as well, and I think mm. that, um, you know, we, everything, times change. You know, I have no doubt that books that I have written in 20 years' time, maybe even in 10 years' time, I'll look back and think there's no way I would write that now. And I think what we do is we read them in that context. You know, we read them with this awareness of when they were written and you know, what, what was trying to be said at the time, um, because that's, that's the only thing yeah. we can do. Well, I'd, I'd... I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking what's brought the five of us here on this panel is the work that we do as writers of fiction, predominantly. So what is our work able to do as far as addressing some of the issues that have come up tonight? What is the role of fiction in, 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 in the issues that we're facing as a culture? I think it's to explore issues and to try to get a little closer to the truth of those issues, even though the truth itself will always remain elusive. But if you can inch a little closer to understanding something, then fiction has done something remarkable and worthwhile. But in writing the Tomorrow series, I wanted to show people that young Australians who were treated with contempt were actually capable of greatness. And when put under pressure, they would not run home and hide under the bed or burst into tears and call for their mothers or fathers. They would actually dig deep and find the, the kind of courage that humans have always found under pressure. And uh, it was really a, a way of demonstrating that to a readership. Mm.